Good morning. My name is Katie Pennington, principal of Holland High School. It is my honor to welcome all of you, but especially our veterans and their families, to our Veterans Day Virtual Assembly. Throughout our history, America's soldiers, sailors, airmen and women, Marines and Coast Guard service members have bravely answered the call to defend our freedom, to aid our friends and allies, and to turn back aggressors. We can never fully repay our debt of gratitude to the more than 660,000 American service members who died in battle, nor to the one and a half million who were wounded. We can, however, recognize and thank the more than 19 million veterans still living today. In 1918, in the 11th month, on the 11th day, at the 11th hour, the cannon silenced, signifying the end to World War I, the war to end all wars. That day became known as Armistice Day. Today, we celebrate the, this historical event as Veterans Day by honoring all veterans who have served and defended our country. Hi, I'm Clayton Comrade. I am a senior at Holland High School. Next year, I have plans on enlisting in the Army National Guard to serve my country as many great men and women have before me. Now, I please request that you stand, remove all non-religious headgear, in the exception of servicemen and women rendering the military salute. I am proud to present Holland's choirs in the singing of the national anthem. Please continue standing and join me in the saying of our Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. I'm Zach Kapla, HVRT director and Holland High School teacher. America is a land of traditions. We have honored our nation's fallen dead in past wars with Memorial Day parades, speeches, and cemetery flowers. But today, we partake in another tradition. Since the guns of World War I fell silent, Americans have paid honor to our military veterans, both those who died as well as those who came home to family and friends. This day has grown to honor those who have served both in times of peace as well as war. Today, we mark the 83rd year our school has come together to honor our veterans. In past years, these gatherings have taken place here in the Dome. Obviously, the circumstances of our day have caused us to gather virtually instead. Regardless, this is a rich tradition that we can and should be proud of. Today, we observe Veterans Day 2020. 
We, the students and staff of Holland Public Schools, pause to remember. To remember those American men and women who served our country. Today, we thank each and every veteran who has served in any capacity, knowing that each veteran has helped preserve our freedom. Next, I am honored to introduce one of my favorite traditions of Veterans Day. Our Holland High School bands will honor each branch of our military in the playing of Salute to the Services. During the playing of this song, each branch of our military will be highlighted. The Marines, Army, Coast Guard, Air Force, and Navy. Additionally, an individual member of each military branch will be highlighted as part of each branch's recognition. Thank you. Hello everybody, my name is Diamante Balcazar, I'm a senior and the Student Senate President here at Holland High. This year, our Veterans Day Assembly will not consist of a single voice or speaker. Rather instead, we have invited a group of enlisted and veteran service members to have their collective voices shared. While many of them have connections to Holland High, all have made the honorable choice and commitment to serve our country. Now, I invite you to lean in as our speakers share their voices, stories, and lessons with you today. Hi, Holland High and Holland community. My name is Mark Knopf and I had the distinct honor of, to serve as a specialist fourth class in the U.S. Army Tank Corps from 1983 to 1986. I also had the great privilege of teaching the most wonderful students U.S. history for 20 years at West Middle School in both U.S. history and AP U.S. history at Holland High. Hello, my name is Johnny Vega and I served in the Army beginning in 1984 as a 31 Mike Communications Operations Specialist. Now, 30 some years later, I am the Program Coordinator for the Hispanic Ministry Program at Western Theological Seminary, preparing women and men for ministry. Hello, my name is Casey Woodenberg. I served in the U.S. Army for five years as an engineer officer. I graduated Holland High in 2011, and I'm currently working in operations management. To me, personally, Veterans Day is about taking the time to go out and thank and recognize those who have served and sacrificed for our country. Um, 
you know, military service is largely thankless service, um, selfless service. And taking the time to go out and say thank you to those people, whether it's a friend, relative, family member, um, I promise you it'll make a world of difference in that person's life. For me, the importance of Veterans Day is to recognize the contributions of those who both believe in the unalienable rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, and were and are willing to go a step further to defend these rights in defense of the most blessed nation God has ever put on planet Earth, the United States of America. As we recognize those that have served on this Veterans Day, it reminds me that there are those who live in this beautiful country because of what others gave. There are those who have opportunity because of what others did. And there are those who are free from tyranny because others serve. As former President Ronald Reagan once said, freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. We didn't pass it to our children in the bloodstream. It must be fought for, protected, and handed on for them to do the same. Or one day we will spend our sunset years telling our children and our children's children what it was once like in the United States where people were free. Freedom wasn't purchased cheaply by the blood of our founding fathers in the American Revolutionary War and in all the many wars that followed, and it will never be cheap to maintain. But freedom, liberty, will always be worth the cost to defend it. You know, in the military, you are taught from day one that you bring value to the team. You have to push past your differences of opinion, race, religion, music, and even sports teams. You are to be a team player. And if you're not a team player, then I remember hearing my sergeants say this all the time. In a real life combat situation, you would be dead. Everyone in the military has a separate job to do. But the one thing we all have in common is that we are soldiers first. The Army taught me that my most important responsibility was to keep myself alive and to keep my buddy, who was next to me, alive also. We were to use our training and those similarities we had to discover to keep us alive. Uh, I know it's been a turbulent year. Uh, things have been a little different this year, especially with this uh, assembly being virtual rather than physical. Um, you know, but with that being said, don't let that get you down. Uh, keep your heads up and keep driving forward. I know all of you will continue to do great things, whether it's here at school or out in the community and out in the country once you graduate. Hopefully, we can get back on track to lifting up our country and not a negative ideology. We are from the family of the human race because that is how God made us. Let us learn to respect the people, tribes, and nations that are different from us. Something I learned through military service um, was really just the importance of service. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be in the military. Just find something that you're passionate about um, and do your research. Maybe find a local organization where you can volunteer at um, and, and make that difference in your community. Well, mil military service worked for me. That's what I felt called to do. I understand that it's not for everyone. Uh, but that doesn't mean you can go out, can't go out and make a difference. Uh, so I encourage you all to uh, you know, find that and, and pursue that. So for anyone looking for an opportunity to challenge yourself, change your life, and serve with pride this beautiful country, go Army. It's a wonderful thing that Holland High has continued to show tremendous respect and gratitude to our veterans for 83 years now with the Veterans Day Assembly. Thank you for keeping it going Holland High and may the most important tradition never end. Good morning, my name is Carl Van Fossen. I am a teacher here at Holland High School and I'm in the courtyard outside of the Art Center. Standing by this memorial, which is meant to remember three specific graduates from Holland High School who served their country and gave the ultimate sacrifice. We honor today those American service members who previously walked the halls of Holland High School. 
We remember the individuals who wore our colors and then marched away under a flag of red, white, and blue, never to return. Some lie buried here in Holland in local cemeteries, never to cheer at one of our games or join us for this assembly today. The names that you are about to read may sound strange, but each one attended Holland High School. Each had hobbies, hopes, and dreams of their own. Each of them paid the supreme sacrifice so that we might live in freedom to pursue our own hopes and dreams. Our Holland High choirs will sing Calling My Children Home as the names of our fallen graduates scroll across the screen. As you read the names, think carefully about them and think about your own service to your country. After the choir has completed their song and the names are have been read, we will follow that by playing taps. Those lives were mine to love and cherish, to guard and guide along my swim. Oh, God forbid that one should perish, that one Come on. 
Hello, I'm Josh Rumsa. Thank you for joining us for this year's Veterans Day Virtual Assembly. While we recognize the selflessness of our veterans and service men and women, we must not forget also the tremendous sacrifice made by their families and those who supported them. Students, staff, families and guests, if you have a relative who is currently serving or has served our country in the past, we also thank and recognize you and your family for their sacrifice. Students, today I ask you to take a moment to reach out to an active duty or veteran service member to say thank you. Also, consider the words of former President John F. Kennedy. As we express our gratitude, we must never forget that the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them. 102 years ago, at the 11th hour, on the 11th day of the 11th month, the guns went silent to end the Great War. Over the past century, our nation and world have engaged in multiple conflicts. Many remain in the present and will challenge us in the future. May we follow the example of the members of the armed forces, a diverse group of individuals who show us what it means to be united among differences, working together in pursuit of a more just and peaceful world. 